In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create project progress bar slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I have put uh, three projects, project 1, project 2 and project 3 and then when I click it will show you the progress of each project. You can see here I have given some different uh, uh, color combinations and then you can put the, the percentage completed here uh, for which particular project. Okay, and then you can add some detailed text and this is for the project 3 and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this qr code you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start a tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the block arrows i'm going to choose this one which is arrow pentagon draw the arrow pentagon depending on the requirement i'm going to keep this much height and weight again if you want you can just reduce or increase the size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can choose any color of your choice so that's the first thing and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to give some shadow effect for this for that let me just select this one press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the you can see here the width shape fill i'm going to make it black and right mouse click go to format shape and increase the transparency and go to the effects under the soft edges increase the size you can see here and then you increase the height a little bit more okay so the height should be matching with this all right and then send this to back okay and maybe this much uh, shadow effect is okay then go to insert text box i'm going to put the percentage here assume that this is the first i'm going to put any percentage like 80 percent shape of sorry the font color make it white center align and i'm going to use the font which is the futura increase the size and put it exactly in the center all right and then i'm going to add one more text where i'm just going to type project for example this is project one and the first option is a so i'm i'm just mentioning as project 1a again this is also center align white font and i'm going to make it again futura all right and then put this exactly in the center something like this all right so once this is done i'm going to select all these objects press ctrl g to group it then hold the ctrl shift key and just put it like this and then you can just change any color of your choice so i'm just going to give some different color combination and then send this to back all right just send this to back like this and this also i have to send this to back all right so now i'm just going to select this one hold the control shift key again and then i'm going to select this one and give some different color combination you can just see here and then just send this to back all right like this so then i'm going to make it the third one or the fourth one and again i'm going to give some different color combination maybe i can go to the more colors and then i can just choose any color of my choice maybe let me just give some more different color here maybe this blue all right and then again send this to back all right so this is one two three four and i'm going to add one more all right and here the last one i don't need uh, the shadow effect so i'm just going to select and delete it and again for this also i'm going to give some different color combination maybe more darker depending on the requirement and then just send this to back all right so you can see here project 1a then i'm just going to make this font as project 1b all right then i'm going to make this as c d and project e all right so now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add some detailed text so go to insert text box and i'm going to add equals lorem within brackets one and delete the unwanted text i don't need this much center align reduce the font size all right and put it here exactly in the center and hold the control shift key and drag it 
for the next options here you can see something like this all right so once this is done i'm going to add one more shape here add it a vertical shape like this all right shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it white and press ctrl d to duplicate this one and then this one i'm going to make it black increase the transparency effect increase the soft edges like this and then i'm going to just send this to back you can see here like this shadow effect i want to create all right and then i'm going to select both of these shapes and press Control G to group it. I can just reduce a little bit this size. Yeah. Okay. So you can see here. Now I'm just going to select all the shapes which I've created, not the vertical one. So hold the Control Shift key and drag it and release it. So you can see here I've got three different options and this one again bring this to front. All right. And for this you can add some icons. Go to Insert icons i can just randomly i can just uh, add some icons so this icon i need i want this one and this one and click insert and move it here make the height and width as 0.7 and then just place this icon under each option like this all right now depending on the requirement you can just change the color you can change the percentage maybe this is 70 percentage this is 40 percent like that you can just change the percentage and then i can just choose like this again go here more fill colors and i can just change the uh, colors what i need maybe i'm going to start with some dark green then i'm going to give some different color combinations it's all depending on your or taste and the requirement like this you can just change uh, the different color combinations okay so once this is done you can add some basic animation to it now let's add some animation effect to this so go to the animations tab enable the animation pane i'm going to select these animations first all right and then go to add animations more entrance effects i'm going to select peek in and click ok and peek in start from left and make sure this is after previous okay so this is on click and the rest will be after previous so if i play it comes like this you can see here something like this and for this i'm going to select this one add animation more entrance effects go to the stretch click ok and effect options make it from the top and this one should happen with previous so here i'm going to drag this one and putting at the each uh, the first uh, option or uh, the animation here so i'm just going to drag and next i'm going to put under the each animation here like this you can see here so if i play it comes something like this so similar way you can just add the animation effect for the rest of the options